very curious question <laughs> which I've always asked myself but I decided just to, to do a study because I'm sure even many of us might want to learn uh, where, where did Paul learn to be a tent maker you know we understand that Paul was a tent maker but where did he learn <laughs> all right now the apostle Paul was a tent maker by trade and he relied on that trade to support himself in a Corinth on his second missionary journey. In Corinth, Paul met uh, fellow tent makers Priscilla and Aquila, and uh, because he was a tent maker, as they were, he stayed and worked with them. And every Sabbath he reasoned in the synagogue trying to persuade Jews and uh, Greeks. That's what the Bible tells us in the book of uh, Acts chapter 18 verse 3 to 4 all right now where Paul learned this trade of tent making we simply can't be sure the Bible never says and we know that as a young man Paul studied under the tutelage of a rabbi Gamaliel in Tarsus who provided him with an expert knowledge of the Hebrew scriptures as the Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 22 verse 3 it says i am verily a man which i am a jew born in tarsus a city in uh, cilicia yet brought up in this city at the feet of gamaliel and uh, taught according to the perfect manner of the law of the fathers and was zealous towards god and all as uh, as you all are this day i was really zealous about god as all of you are right now, (laughs) okay? And uh, those educational credentials allowed Paul to preach in the synagogues wherever he traveled. Like the Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 17, verse 2, it says, And Paul, as his manner was, went in unto them, and three Sabbath days reasoned with them out of the scriptures. So, we know also that Tarsus, where Paul was from, was in the province of Cilicia, famous for for raising goats and producing a goat's hair, a cloth that was used for tent making. In fact, the cloth name, uh, the, the 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 cloth was named Cilicium after the province of origin. It was standard practice for Jewish rabbis to have learned a trade. Rabbi. Hiliel and the, the grandfather of uh, Gamaliel was a carpenter and Paul's trade was that of tent making. It could have been a business in his family. Uh, maybe his family was involved in, in uh, tent making. It is also possible that Paul learned and began to practice tent making during his school years. Another possibility is that he became a tent maker during his ministry or in the time between his road to Damascus conversion and the beginning of his ministry. Think about the Bible in the book of Galatians chapter 1 verse 17 says, Neither went I up to Jerusalem to them which were uh, apostles before me, but I went to Arabia and returned again to Damascus. Maybe it's around that time when uh, he knew how to do tent making. But of course we understand that Paul turned Uh, to his training as a tent maker in in certain situations so as not to be burdened to the churches he was nurturing and to avoid accusations that he was preaching for gain. He told the elders in Ephesus where he had spent two years, I have not converted. Let let me just show you uh, the verse. In the book of Acts chapter 20 verse uh, 33 to 34, he says, I have not coveted no man's silver or gold or apparel. Yeah, You yourselves know that uh, these hands have ministered unto my necessities and to them that were with me. So Paul did not really want to be a bother to people. And you see like in modern times when uh, people are trying to be converted into Christianity. I've seen so many people say, oh, you want me to be a Christian so that I can join your church and give you offerings? You see, that's a very bad notion of uh, thinking or or you know just uh, I want to, uh, when I become a Christian it's all about these people will be asking me this asking me that but you see today's modern uh, churches pastors and other 
leaders in the church most of them they don't want to do anything else they just say oh i i, I the church will provide will provide my car will provide my house will provide this and that and you see some young members in the church in the body of christ or people who are just newly saved who do not understand that uh, uh, ministry has expenses they will tend to think oh i'm getting saved so that i can feed this guy and his family and feed his lifestyle so you see they they can be weakened at some point and this can become a stumbling block to some point and that's why paul did not want to be a stumbling block to the gospel to people getting saved thinking that oh you want us to get saved so that we can always give you money for your travels and whatever and of course most likely tent making was not a big part of paul's life in general his focus was always preaching the gospel of christ he said in the book of first uh, corinthians 2 verse 2 for i determined not to know anything among you save jesus christ and him crucified and being a tent maker was uh, probably only something like he did on occasion as a fallback all right uh, the author uh, e radolf richards basically pointed out that uh, as a traveler paul did not carry the supplies necessary to conduct a significant business as a tent maker in the ancient uh, greek or roman world it took a considerable time to establish the necessary relationships in order to gain the necessary permissions to conduct business in a city and both from city leaders as well as the appropriate guilds and uh, paul was able on occasion to enter into business but not only in situations such as um, uh, but only in situations such as Corinth where he was actually assisting in an established business with an established shop with regular suppliers owners uh, with membership in the appropriate uh, trade guilds and regular clientele all right so when it comes down to it the bible just gives us a broad big picture overview of most of the events it discusses including the ministries of uh, major figures like Paul and the book of Acts for example doesn't mention Paul's heading to uh, uh, to Arabia for a while before uh, beginning his ministry we don't even learn about that epistle until Paul mentions it in his letters to the Galatians so even though we are told Paul was a tent maker by trade and he served in that capacity at times it is impossible to say uh, with certainty how or when he learned the trade or how much tent making he actually did during his ministry. And that's the end of our today's Bible study lesson. Hope it was a blessing to you. Hope you did learn something. And uh, remember, you can always download this podcast to listen later offline or to share to your friends and family. And please don't forget to favorite our podcast and subscribe to our channel so that you can always be notified whenever we post a new Bible study lesson. And if you'd like to get saved or you need a step-by-step Bible verses on the order of salvation so that you can well preach to your friends or family, or maybe you just feel led to support our ministry or buy some cool Christian merchandise, kindly visit our website, Keith walkie.com for more details and breakdown otherwise i hope to see you soon in the next one